What's going on everybody? Mr. Thrasher here. And today we're going all around the greater Ottawa area in search of some classic Tom Green Show prank spots. We're gonna be meeting up with Rob on location of robonlocation.com. We're gonna go check out Tom Green's childhood home, prank spots, where his show got its start. So come along. This is gonna be fun. A little bit rainy out there. It's kind of back and forth sun and rain, so. We're gonna do what we can. Hi. Are you alright? Yeah, oh, I'm okay. You sure? Oh, uh, yeah. You got it's... blood everywhere. The bike incident is here in Stitzville. Oh, That's far off from where I'm living. Hi. You see a doctor? Oh, I'm okay. Like hell you are. You better get checked out. You get hit by a car? What's that? You get hit by a car? Uh, my bike. I got my bike. I got your bike. I know you got your bike, but where's. You get hit by a car? No, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. All right, a little bit of rain out here, but I'm gonna get out in front of this building and try to match this up. Hit your bike with a sledgehammer a few times. People will be very nice. So to he you. beat up the bike, put some you, fake yeah. blood on himself right so, here. I appreciate the. Uh, it was a country help. style at the time. Now it's a physiotherapy place. Yeah. Police officer rolled up right here. Yeah. Uh, I'm not hurt. Okay. Why? Well, really that tree that. right yeah. there. Right here. Who's people that are involved with this? Uh, it's called the Tom Green Show. Okay. And it's, uh, yeah, it's just for fun, so. Okay. Where, where's the guys that are all involved with this thing? Uh, well, we're filming it right now, so it's, we're filming it from the camera right there, actually. But, uh. <laughs> this is cool, because you can see Tom talking to the guy, and you see country style behind him. That would be these windows right here. So he was talking to the guy right here, just stepping out of the elements here, keep the water off the lens. But it's cool to match that up. You see there's about nine square windows at the top of this one right here. That'd be those. All the bricks and everything, still the same. And standing can match all those windows up still. You see a doctor? Hi. You see a doctor? Oh, I'm okay. Like hell you are. You better get checked out. You get hit by a car? What's that? You get hit by a car? Uh, my bike. I got my bike. I got your bike. I know you got your bike, but where's. You get hit by a car? No, no. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm here to check you out. No, no, I appreciate it though. I really. Hit by a car? Well, we're making a TV show about how uh, people and are really nice to people who are hurt. Is that right? Yeah, and like how when you put paint on yourself and hit your bike with a sledgehammer a few times, people will be very nice to you and yeah. help you, yeah. They would have been standing right so, here. I appreciate the, uh, the help. Whatever. Hi. Tom is driving yeah. his bike around here. That's where the cop pulled up, right here. Good. So, I'm not hurt. Okay, well, I realize that. Yeah. But, uh, who's, who's people that are involved with this? Uh, it's called the Tom Green Show. Okay, and it's uh, that's where that yeah, prank took place fun, right so. here. Okay, where, where's the guys that are all involved? With cool. All right, let's go check uh, another one. Out. All right, so how you doing, Rob? Good, good. How's it going? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. We're uh, hitting some Tom Green spots today. Yeah, legendary Tom Green, comedian from Ottawa, got his start here on public access television. That's right. We're gonna go try to hit up that studio too, where that all started. Yeah, that's not too far from here. And Rob on location right here. Yeah, robonlocation.com. What location are we at right now, Rob? We are at Tom Green's house where he grew up and uh, filmed a number of segments for his show here. Some pranks on his parents, painted the house plaid at one point. I think he turned it into a petting zoo at some point as well. So uh, made <laughs> lit, numerous appearances in his show. Lit off some fireworks. Lit off some yeah. fireworks in their bedroom at one point, did he not? I think so, yeah. All right, let's take a look at the house. It's just up this way. All right, I got some clips of uh, Tom at his parents' house here. Be happy when they come home and see that I've done some work around the house. He painted the entire house plaid. Let's get make this a... Painting his parents' house plaid. Their supplies. The house looked better than all the other houses in the neighborhood. Mom and Dad find out about this, Tom. You're f***ing gone. Well, I think they're going to find out. It's for them. I knew my mom and dad were gonna love it. It 
it was going to be the best house in the whole world. Okay, so rather difficult to see, but there's Tom Green. He's painting the house plaid right here. There's the house now. Obviously, undergone some serious renovations. So you you, you were here when they were actually uh, redoing the Yeah, I stopped the house. by one time to take a few photos for my website, and uh, they were actually renovating the front of the house at that time. Cool. Of course, it, yeah, it looks way different than it did in the show. Hard to see with the reflection here, but that's him painting the house plaid. Obviously that window there is that one right there. Well, just looking at, see the drainage pipes, everything's still the same. And the structure is the same. In fact, see the brick right here, you can see right here. Many similarities, same bungalow style home, Get the front door, everything's, everything's in the same spot, it's just got a different finish on it. And all the brick down here is still the same, yep. just redone it up here. Windows in the same spot, and the top of the house too. Yep, and less trees. Less trees. Dad, we're gonna love it. It was gonna be the best house in the whole world. So it's that's still right there. That's the house. And these are the houses that the camera just went by. So he was just painting the house over here. So these houses have been in the Tom Green show as well. Amidst at least some, in the background. Yeah, at least in the background. I missed some of his pranks. He pulled a lot of pranks at this place. I mean, uh, there, I guess there would have been a time you would have seen him cutting the grass here. Yep. He, Tom Green mowed this lawn. So did he grow? He grew up in this house. Uh, yeah, I don't know from a little child or not, but he grew up here. Yeah. Many years of his life. Yeah. He went to school very close to here. Yeah, I remember him setting fireworks off in his parents' bedroom right in this house. And then uh, we have to talk about the slut mobile, as well. I love them. I've turned my parents' vehicle into more than just a vehicle. I've turned it into the slut mobile. Won't mom and dad be surprised and overwhelmed tomorrow morning when they get up to go to work? So I'm hiding inside a box right now in my parents' driveway uh, that normally contains garbage. Could have been right over here where he's hiding. The car in the driveway. Okay, so it's daylight now, uh, and my parents seem to be awake because the light in the house is on. I hope right my there. parents like my gift. I hope when they come out of the house, they really enjoy the car that I painted for them. Their car. This is dad coming out of the house here. You like it, dad? Come look at it, dad. Go talk to your mother. What? What's the big deal? Big deal. Dad walked out right here. It's permanent. Come look at it. That's permanent. What do you mean? It's out of the police right now. What, what are you He's walking about? down this way. Yeah. Dad, it's a present. It's. Yeah. Look at Dad. Come look at it, Dad. Go talk to your mother. I'm going. What? What's the big deal? It's right here, what leaving the driveway. Talk? It's permanent. Come look at it. That's permanent. What do you mean? It's out of the police right now. What? What are you talking about? Yeah. Dad, it's a present. See it's that house right, right over there. It's a present. Well, it's completely untasteful and ridiculous. Why? Where are you going? You're walking. And then, so we're about a block away, and this is where his dad came right after. He could not use the car that Tom had turned into the slut mobile. So coming from Tom Green's house up here, this is the bus stop that his dad had to come to to get to work. So he didn't want to drive the slut mobile, Rob. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> Tom Green's old man was right over here waiting for the bus that morning. Very, very angry. I guess I'd be pretty angry. Needless to say, after uh, his father had to take the bus to work from this very spot, Tom's mother had some uh, words for him. Mom, it's your mother. Did you do that to our car? It's really gross and disgusting. And I'm not 
not impressed. I knew that something was happening. It's just another little horrible thing for us to cope with. Call me as soon as you get this message. I am livid. Next message. Tom, this is your mother. That car better be back here immediately and back to its original condition. And I don't find it funny. There's nothing funny about it at all. It's insulting. Once again, you, you know, just it's not funny. It's ruining uh, things that belong, don't belong to you. And it's making me sick. And I stand up. His mother, Mary Next Jane message. Green. Tom, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. You've been here. You've gone. I want my car fixed. It's disgusting. All right, so we're going to move on to another spot. Yeah, he drove his mother and father crazy here. His brother, too. His brother, too. Cool, I've never actually come over here and checked out uh, Tom Green's childhood home, so there we go. All right, on to check something else out. Okay, so, so just around the block from Tom Green's childhood home is the childhood home of Tom Cruise right here 2116 and he lived here uh, during some of his teenage years right yeah his parents were stationed in Ottawa with the US government and uh, this is where they lived Wow Tom Cruise right right around the block from Tom Green I wonder if that was during the ta uh, same time period I think Tom Cruise lived right around the block from Tom Green at the same time it could be could be. Interesting. Tom Cruise, right here. Now just up the way, in the same neighborhood, this was Tom Green's public school, Henry Monroe Public School. The Tom Green wasn't the only one who went here. Who else went here, Rob? That's right. So we saw Tom Cruise's house in the same neighborhood, and Tom Cruise attended the school as well, along with uh, legendary Canadian singer Brian Adams went here as well. Brian Adams. Pretty cool alumni from this middle school. Wow, Tom Green, Tom Cruise, and Brian Adams all went to public school. Yeah. That's crazy. That's pretty cool. Wonder how many pranks Tom Green laid down in this school. I don't know if he was doing pranks during his middle school days, but uh, actually he probably started anyways. He seems like a prankster. Somebody with must or have without been a TV show. Yeah, somebody must have been getting. Maybe Tom Cruise. Maybe Tom Cruise. Yeah. He could have been laying down the pranks. We're really hoping that the rain tapers off today. I guess we could do this with a few drops, but Rob's getting some good shots. Check out robonlocation.com. He's got museum pictures and pictures from movies all around the world, so. Yeah. Henry Monroe Public School. Tom Green, Tom Cruise, and Brian Adams all attended this public school. Probably not all at the same time, but pretty cool anyway. Okay, now we're where the Tom Green show was actually filmed in the studio. It's right here. Yeah, this is Rogers Community Television Studios. This is building A in front of us and building B is here towards the back, but I believe that's mostly offices. Okay. Um, so Tom Green would have uh, entered through these doors and filmed right here. Right, they started filming the Tom Green show here around 93 or 94. It's at Studio A right here, so it was in there where they did all the uh, studio talk. Did you ever uh, come to any of the filmings here? I didn't. I didn't know too much about it when it was actually filming in Ottawa. Right. Um, Tom Green's popularity sort of exploded once he went to national television and moved to Toronto. And uh, so I kind of missed out on that opportunity. It would have been pretty cool. That's right. I apologize for some of the wind. We're just heading to the front of the Rogers building right now. It's a little windy. Science and Technology Museum right across the street. Covered the yeah. in Ottawa. To hit that place up. That's right. You can see, see many science and tech episodes on my channel. And right across the street from the Science Tech Museum over here is the studio where Tom Green did his show when it started. The Rogers Community Television Studio. This is where it started for Tom Green. First time you would have seen him on TV. 
show it a broadcast from here. We thought we'd just give you a good look at that. The Rogers Community Building. Never got to attend any of the studio tapings myself personally, but he used to do a lot. A lot of pranks and stuff. He used to skateboard on the stage. Yep. He'd have a lot of guests and of course, uh, Phil Giroux and Glenn Humplick, who were his co-host for the show in yeah. Ottawa. Yeah, all done right here in this building. And Phil Giroux, or is it Glenn Humpl It's Phil Giroux still lives, uh, I think on the Quebec side. He was taping with Tom recently. Tom lives back here in Ottawa. He's got property out in Pembroke, I believe. Haven't figured out exactly where that is, but maybe Tom will check this out. This will bring back some memories for him. It's where it all began. Not too much we can see inside the studio. Locked, but Sailor on Boulevard here in Ottawa. 1810. Pretty cool, I wish I would have been able to uh, come and check out one of the studio recordings. Yeah, would have been very cool. That's where it would enter, right there. Pretty cool. Studio B is over here. Before the show moved to Toronto, and then to New York, and then he branched out to Los Angeles. He became a big star, I'd say he's definitely one of the top five stars to ever come out of Ottawa, so. Oh, I bet they use this back area here. Tom, Tom's a smoker, so he probably had a lot of cigarettes back here. Planning his shows. Mostly just offices back here in Studio B. Mmm, yeah. smell Burger like King. Old style satellite dish there. Wow, yeah, yeah. Old satellite dish over here. Yeah, I can definitely picture Tom Green having a cigarette out here. Okay, we're on Spark Street now, heading to the next spot, which was a pretty uh, classic prank spot for Tom Green. If anybody remembers, uh, he, he, he would just kind of stand outside on the sidewalks interviewing people at random. I think it looked more like a suburban, like maybe in Orleans or, no, or St. Laurent. Right. But I haven't seen it in a long time. We're on Rue. Spark Street. Rue Spark Street. Ott. Awa. Tom Green's stomping grounds. We're here on Spark Street. That's just up the way. He used to do a lot of interviews with people on the streets at random. Ask them where they're going and stuff. And there was a particular old man that many will remember when I show the clip. This spot's just down here. Just making our way down Sparks. Windy. Windy. Got a little rain here. Could you tell me where you're going anyway? Right right here. My business? No, I'm not going to tell you. It's got to be none of your damn business. Really? It is. Can I guess where you're going? Where? I don't know. If I guessed where you were going, would you tell me where you were? If I was right or not? What I do? You're going to the Parliament buildings? Bullshit to you. I'm not going to the Parliament buildings. <laughs> This, was, uh, this, is, this occurred right again. here. Yeah. This old uh, man got very bank? angry. No. no. You're not going to the Parliament buildings? No. Do you like Do you like the Parliament buildings? I've never been there. So where are you going then? You can see that monument right there. I don't think it's any of your damn business. Behind no, the old man no. in that I'm postal actually, truck. It would have been right here. Um, Answer my question. Where the hell are you going? This guy gets really upset and then they kind of move over here in front of these buildings. You'll notice the address here, 44 and 46, as Tom's trying to get away from the old man. The old man was fighting him right here, in front of 44, 46 right here. Is it right here, up? There you go. 
The old man's ringing him out right here. Right here, not far no, from the parliament building. This sorry. guy got really I'm pissed at all. I see them going in front of this window right now. Right here, somebody else tried to get involved. Right here. Go take a flying fuck spot, right here. Sorry, no, I mean, I don't know why you're mad at me. I just wanted to know where you were going. I was just asking to be polite. Go and take a flying fuck! What? Go and take a flying fuck! A flying fuck? Fuck. Yeah, yeah, you're being, you're being rude. <laughs> you're the one being rude. I'm not being rude. I, I, you're chasing me. <laughs> you're on the offensive. I was, I just asked a nice question. I just was wondering. Yeah, you asked a nice question, I gave you a nice answer. Well, you didn't give me a nice answer. So this is it, Rob. Did you ever watch the show when that clip uh, happened? It was, I haven't seen that clip since you just showed it to me. I was about was 11 years time. old when yeah. I first saw that. So I was in sixth grade when I was watching his show. And that occurred right here. The go take a flying fuck old man. Who has said he had never been to the parliament buildings, which is just one over here. So that, that, that started right over here. That postal truck was here. You can see that monument. Right across from the NAC. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that is the NAC. And then that escalated very quickly over here. In front of 44 and 46. I've never seeked this spot down. That's pretty cool. Legendary Tom Green prank spot right here. Yeah. Yeah. Back and forth rain today downtown core of Ottawa. We're gonna go hit up Shawarma King, which is Tom Green's favorite place to eat. Probably in the world, but definitely here in Ottawa. He swears by it. He spent many nights after shows at that studio or doing pranks, getting himself a Shawarma. So we're gonna go check out Shawarma King. Shawarma King. Yep. You, re you ready to eat how Tom Green eats? Yeah. Tom or at least Green what he eats. <laughs> well, he likes to eat the works a lot too, but he swears by Shawarma King here in Ottawa. This is the exact place he would come as often as he could right. for Shawarma. There, there are other Shawarma places, but he swears by the King. Well, Ottawa is the Shawarma capital of the world, so they're all over the place. But Shawarma King is he a would specific agree. location. He would agree with that. Yeah. Let's go in and check it out. Okay. Let me get a shawarma. Let me get a shawarma. Cool establishment there. The picture of Tom Green in here. Tom Green in here after a show getting a shawarma. Check out this thing they got in the corner. Hey, it's pretty neat. All right, we're gonna, me and Rob are going to order a couple shawarmas. See what Tom was raving about. Pretty good. I think I'm gonna go with large beef shawarma. Large beef shawarma. We got mixed platters, family platters. Yeah, I'm gonna make it a large. I'm gonna make it a large. A large beef. Feels like a large day. Feels like a large day. I agree. Get a big salad like Elaine Seinfeld. Oh, I want the big salad. Yeah, it's a big salad. Thank you. Yeah, stick a couple tomatoes in there. Tomatoes, little lettuce, some of that big salad. Yeah, a couple peppers. Gotta get, gotta get a couple peppers. Sawing that beef up for my shawarma. Saw off my beef. Just taking it right off there. Sawing it right off. Change my mind to a mix. Rob knows what he's talking about. Might as well go with the chicken and the beef. The 
you're winking me in the eyes over the counter there. Yeah. Got, gotta go chicken and beef. Yeah. Chicken and beef. Okay, so now we're here in Canada at the Hazeldean Mall. And this is actually where Tom did one of his legendary intercom store gags back when this was a Zeller's. Similar to this. You just get on the get on the store intercom. No, I don't want you doing that on my PA. Uh, not allowed to do that or no? How come you're not allowed? Not allowed. That says page. Mom? Mom? Where are you, Mom? Mom? I'm lost. Mom? Mom, I'm lost. Mom? Mom, I'm up at the front, Mom. Mom, I'm up at the front, Mom. I don't know where you are. Mom? So this part coming up here was in the Zellers. So, what's your name? This right here. Just straight ahead through these doors. Oh no? Oh, okay. It's just uh, it's like doing my stand-up comedy routine. And it's you know, I follow me, please. There's no stages around here that I can work out at. Follow me, please. There's no stage around yeah, here that I can work out. Straight at, so these doors. I thought it'd be good to stand on that mic there. I remember that Zeller so please. well. Oh okay. Well I'll just go at this one. No, no, no. Now uh Cheers okay. Sports no. Shark Center. So actually no, this is the way here. This is gym now. It's the right way. It was the Zellers. Just a few years back. What's that? Come with me for more. This guy tried to get him to wait for the police. No, actually, I don't want to stay in the store, though. So right here is where that brown so flooring was. Oh, well, I, I am allowed to leave, though, because I'm an adult. No, because you weren't invited in the store in the first place to get on the PA system. Was that person invited in the store? Was that person invited in the store? Invited in the store? Invited in the store? That has no bearing on it. You did something. No, you did something. First of all, this is a private property. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it. No, I can charge you a trespassing. <laughs> well, no, no, yeah. because I'm leaving. No, you can't. Yeah. No, I didn't have a warning. Can I see you over here for a minute by the telephone? Okay. Yeah, let's go over here. I okay. missed that brown piling right here. Yeah, so pretty cool. I remember when this was a Zeller's. And that's where he faked the guy out right here. This used to all be brown tiling. This was not a... Uh, this was actually a cigar store at that time. Now it's a salon. And this was a Zeller's. And it's now uh, where they do uh, do some exercises. It's a gym now. Can't really, really see in there anymore, but... <laughs> this was that spot right here. Pretty cool. Hang on a sec. See, he's facing where I'm standing right now. That's right here. There used to be no doors there. What's that? Come with me for now, please. Could you please stay in the store? No, actually, I don't want to stay in the store, though. Right here. That's the thing. I want to leave. So You're not allowed to leave. I remember uh, that well, brown tiling right there. Because I'm an adult. No, because you weren't invited in the store in the first place to get on a PA system. Was that person invited in the store? <laughs> Was that person there invited in the store? Was she invited in the store? That has no bearing on it. You did something. I, I just had the brown. Right no, there. you did something. First of all, this is a private property. Okay, okay. well, I'm going to leave it. No, I can charge you a trespassing. Well, no, no, yeah. because I'm leaving. No, you can't. Yeah. No, I didn't have a warning. Can I see you over here for a minute by the telephone? Okay. Yeah, let's go over here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Okay, we got the shawarma here. It's your big boy. This is the large uh, chicken and beef. Got lettuce, peppers, tomato, everything in there. Onions, sweet sauce. Probably better to keep it wrapped. This is the large and just remove the tin foil as necessary as I make my way through it. Okay, I'm not gonna show myself eat the entire thing. A little pepper sticking out there. Here we go. I want that pepper in that first bite. Let's see what Tom Green was talking about. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to tell you just after taking that first bite, Tom knows what he's talking about. The beef and the chicken combo was good to go with. The peppers, ooh, that is too good. Well, it's a fact. 
Tom knew what he was talking about. It's the best shawarma I've ever had. I've only had about four bites. It's huge. This is the large. That variety of delicious ingredients in there. Mmm. Mmm. Now look how well they do the chicken and the beef here. You need a little chicken, a little beef, and one bite. <laughs> Thanks for the suggestion, Mr. Tom Green. That's what Tom Green indulges in. Lost a bit there. The shawarma king. Mmm. Tom, you are the shawarma king. Mm. It's too good. I'm not going to eat dinner after this. It'll pale in comparison. Tom Green, you are the shawarma king. That's going to do it. Please like, please subscribe. If you're new here, subscribe and I'll let you know when a new episode goes up. Never know what you may be missing here on the Mr. Thrasher Show. That was an amazing shawarma. Tom Green knows what he's talking about. Shawarma King here in Ottawa on Bank Street. Hit that up. Again, please like, please subscribe. Cold, rainy day. I'm glad most of the rain waited till we were finished, for the most part anyways. Thanks again for coming along. Please like, please subscribe. You can join me on Twitter or Instagram. Never know what you may be missing here on the Mr. Thrasher Show. All right. We'll see you next time.